In this video, I'm going to show you how to play DS games on your 3DS using the Twilight menu. This guide is also going to include how to set up the widescreen patch if you want, that's an option, how to get cheats and how to use them. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I will show you how to get these DS games onto your 3DS menu. And just in case you didn't know, you do need custom firmware for this tutorial to work. So if you haven't homebrewed your 3DS, there'll be a playlist where you can get started there. And if you open the first link down below, it'll take you to this GitHub page for the Twilight menu. As of right now, the latest release is 25.8.1, but if you're watching this video further into the future, it may be a newer version. As you can see, this was released by Rocket Rob, so big shout out to him, he did a great job. And to download it, we're gonna scroll down to where it says Assets, and we're just gonna grab this Twilight menu 3DS. Click it to download, and it'll be a zip file in the bottom left of your screen. So next up, we're gonna get the widescreen patch. We're gonna open up the second link and it'll take you here. Uh, you can get this using the universal updater, but since I already have my SD card out, I'm just gonna do it this way. So all we're gonna do is download this twpatch.cia. So click it and it'll download a CIA file. And then next up, we're gonna grab some cheats. So if you go to the third link down below, it'll take you to this Bitbucket page. So once you're here, go into cheat databases all the way at the bottom, click on usrcheat.dat. Once it loads, just click view raw and it'll download in the bottom left. Now this is a whole database of all the cheats so it'll have more than one cheat inside. So for a bunch of different games, you'll have the options to add cheats or not. And again, I'll show you how to set that up on the 3DS. But once you have all three of those downloads, we're ready to open up our SD card that we use to mod our 3DS and get it set up. Just snap those, here's what mine looks like. And the first thing we're gonna do is open up the Twilight Menu zip file. It'll look like this. And here, we're only gonna grab four of these folders and files, so hold Control, select ROMs, NDS, Stimule, or however you say it, <laughs> and boot.nds. Once you have all of those highlighted, just drag them onto the root of your SD card. Now, I've already set it up, so I'm just gonna hit replace files in the destination. And once those are on there, and it is good to know that the text files here, games supported with widescreen, if we open it up, it'll have a whole list of games you can play with widescreen. So it's good to know, especially if you go through this whole process and your widescreen patch doesn't work, you can double check here if it's actually compatible with, with that ROM. And then if you see AP patched games, if we open that one up, it has a list of games that are AP patched. So exit that, you can throw those on your SD card if you want, but. I'd rather not have text files on mine, so I'm going to leave them. And now, if you don't already have one, create a CIS folder here. Make sure it's all lowercase and four letters. Open it up, and we're going to grab the Twilight Menu CIA file here. Drag it inside. This is the file we're going to use to install the Twilight app on your 3DS menu. So once you have those, you can exit the zip file. And then down below, just grab the twpatch.cia and drag it into your CIS folder, just like your Twilight Menu one. Once you have those, we are ready to set up cheats. So go into the NDS folder that we just added on, go into Twilight Menu, go into Extras, and then here we're gonna grab that user cheat.dat and drag it inside. And that's it for the cheats. So the last step is to add games onto our SD card. And then back on the root of your SD card, open up the ROMs folder here. So this folder was added when we dragged the first file on. So now you have a whole option of adding different kinds of ROMs as well. But we're just gonna be doing DS games, so go into the NDS folder here. And we're just gonna do as it says, place NDS ROMs here. So I have four right here. I'm just gonna drag them in. It's good to know that these need to be an NDS file. But once you have those inside, and you've double checked your SD card, we are ready to head over to the 3DS. I'll meet you there. All right, and once you're on your 3DS, we're gonna go and install the CIAs first. So go into your FBI software. We installed this during my 3DS homebrew video. And once you're here, just click A on SD, go down to CIAS, and you should see Twilight Menu and TW Patch. But we're just gonna click on Current Directory and we have the option to install and delete all CIAs. This will install them onto your 3DS and then delete them because we don't need them taking up space. So click A, click A for yes, 
and it'll install the Twilight menu and the TW patch. Success, so press A to continue and as you can see, they are gone. So press the home button and we got a couple presents. It's the first one here, Firm Patcher. We're gonna open it up, there we go. And the Twilight menu. Now the first thing we're gonna do, if you're gonna be doing the widescreen patch, we're gonna go into TWL. Whoa, look at my face. <laughs> and once you're here, it says hold Y and B. Oops. If this screen disappears, just click uh, the D-pad and it'll pop back up. But just click Y and B to access the patch menu. And if it doesn't work the first time, just hit it again. Let's bring this a little closer. We're gonna go down to widescreen patch, click A and there should be an X on it. And we're also gonna enable GPU scaling. So click A on that one as well. So there's X's on both of them. And once you have that, just press B and then hit start to start the patch. Impression takes forever. I get it. I'll wait. If somebody that didn't know how to mod Nintendo consoles walked in, they would think you're just a genius hacker if they saw this right now. <laughs> and there we go. It went through it all. That took about a minute to two minutes, so it does take a little bit. But once you see this screen, hold select to exit. And now we need to head over to the PC and change up some files. So let's power off our device, take our SD card out, and I'll meet you over there. So back on the PC, after doing that patch, we created a new file. So we're gonna just move it into the proper spot. So on your SD card, go into your Luma folder, go to Sys Modules, and here is the file that we created, TWLBG. So what we're gonna do, we gotta move it to a different folder. So right click on it, we're gonna cut, and then go back to the root of your SD card, go into NDS, go into Twilight menu, and then right click and paste. So we're not quite done, we're gonna select the file, right click again, and rename it, but all we're gonna do is copy the text. So we can click off, and now we're gonna create a new folder, and just hit Control V, and it should paste the same text as that file. And once that folder is created, we're gonna grab the TWLBG file, the CXI file, and put it inside. Go inside of there, and we're gonna rename it now to widescreen. And that is all we have to do for that file, so we can eject our SD card and head back onto the 3DS. And once you're back on your 3DS, we can go into the Twilight menu now. Now here, we're gonna select our language. If you are not English, you can use the D-pad and scroll over and find it. But I'm English and I feel like most of you are, so we're gonna click A on the English text. I'm gonna be selecting USA for my region. And then once you're here, just click on the touch screen to continue. And there we go. It will set up Twilight menu. Now this will take a little bit longer the first time we open Twilight Menu, so it'll be quicker in the next time. And there we go, we are loaded into the Twilight Menu. Now if you recognize this 3DS folder here, this is because it is showing your SD card folders. We need to navigate to our ROMs folder. If you remember, we put it into ROMs, and then we have a whole list of the different ROMs here, so we gotta find NDS. There it is. And if you open it, you should have all of your DS ROMs in here. As you can see, all four are showing up. And before we start the game, if you click Y, it'll bring up this list of options. You can press X for cheats. We have tons of different options here. Uh, just to enable it, just click A. And if there's an X on it, that's enabled. Hit X to save. And now the next time you load into the game, you'll have that cheat. If you want to turn it off, you just do the same thing. X, scroll down and take that away. And then don't forget X to save. So right now, there is no cheats. And then also in this menu, if you scroll down, we're looking for a screen aspect ratio. For me, it is not showing up. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn off our 3DS. When we turn it back on, we're gonna hold the select button. This will load us into the Luma configuration. And you should notice on the top screen here, it has an option to enable loading external firms and modules. We're just gonna click A on it and make sure there's an X on there. Hit start to save. And then it should bring you back to your menu. Now let's go try again. Back into the Twilight menu. 
As you can see, the second time loading the app, it is much quicker and it loads directly to your ROMs. So let's try this again, press Y and scroll down. And there we go, screen aspect ratio. Right now it's set to default, but if we go to the right, we can see 4.3 and 16 by 10. So all you have to do is make sure it's on the one you want and press B. So now we are completely ready to play our game. So if you want to play your game, just click A. But now I'm going to show you how to get the your games onto the 3DS menu so you don't have to go into Twilight menu at all. So in order to do that, we're just going to click the home button, head back to the menu, and then head over into Universal Updater. Once you're here, click the search icon and type in NDS and then click the information icon again and scroll over to NDS Forwarder. Click A, click A again, and confirm your download. If you go into this folder here, your queue, you can see it downloading. There we go, NDS Forwarder succeeded. Now we can hit the home button, go over into your homebrew channel, launcher, sorry, we're not on the Wii. <laughs> And then once you're in here, scroll all the way down until you see NDS Forwarder Generator. Click on it, load it up, and now we can find our NDS ROM. So as you can see, this is our SD card again, so scroll down, we need to go into ROMs, and then find NDS. It should be right, right there. So click on it and scroll down and you should see all of your ROMs. Now, if you don't want to install all of them onto your menu, you can select one and it'll ask you, do you wish to install it? Just click yes, but I'm going to hit no and then install them all. So here at the top, you can install all NDS. So I'm going to hit A. Do you wish to install forwarders for all NDS? Click A on yes, and it will begin installing all of your ROMs. Press A when install is complete. Now we can hit the home button and we should have some presents. Now for your 3DS menu, there is a limit of 40 DSiWare games and these are included in that. And Lego Indiana Jones. And now you can start them right from your 3DS menu. So let's load into Lego Indiana Jones. And there we go, we are now playing Lego Indiana Jones. I used to love this game, this and Lego Star Wars. Now if you're loading your games from your menu, you may not be able to use the widescreen patch or cheats, so you have to go into Twilight and load it from there if you want those. But I'm not too picky when I have the convenience of loading these games straight from my menu. And if you're interested, here is how the widescreen patch looks like on Super Mario 64 3DS. Now LEGO Indiana Jones is not compatible with the widescreen patch. If you recall, back in the Twilight download that we had, there was a text file that we opened that has all the games supported. So if you open a game and there is no widescreen, it's probably not supported. And this is how it looks when there is no widescreen patch. So there you can see the difference. It's just slightly smaller. Um, it just lines up with the lower screen. So either or works, it's really all preference. But there you have it, we can now play Nintendo DS games on our 3DS. You can do it through the Twilight menu or right from your 3DS menu. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and if you want to, there's an option to buy me a coffee down below, but of course, all that I ask for is a like. That's free. If you're interested in more 3DS tutorials, there'll be a playlist down below, so you can go check it out there. If you ran into any issues, comment down below or you can join the Discord and ask for help there. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Take care.